Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just made sudden unexpected stop and brought huge crew back to the White House. First Lady Melania Trump had emergency kidney surgery at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. President Trump visited her multiple times after the surgery which is said to have been because of benign embolism in the First Lady's kidney. While everyone was paying attention to Melania to hear about how her procedure went, it was Donald Trump who unexpectedly had a group visit him at the White House. No one expected this, but President Trump had people turning their heads in astonishment after they learned what happened. During President Trump's multiple visits to the military hospital to visit Melania as she recovers, Trump also took time out of his very busy schedule to visit other people there who didn't know he was going to do that. Trump visited many wounded warrior veterans and even asked a few to go visit him at the White House anytime. Several of the wounded veterans immediately took him up on the offer and met with President Trump in the Oval Office. Here are several photographs of President Trump and his big crew of personal visitors receiving the royal treatment in a friendly time in the White House. The fine photographs were provided by Dan Scavino, director of social media, on Twitter. Scavino wrote, Last week after visiting Flotus Melania, POTUS Trump went to visit wounded heroes at Walter Reed Medical Center. He told them that when they got out, to come visit him at the IT White House anytime. Yesterday, prior to departing for NY, he welcomed and met with them in the Oval. Meanwhile, Melania's surgery was a success and she took the time to thank the whole staff at the Walter Reed Medical Unit. She was then released from Walter Reed Medical Unit and welcomed home by President Trump. WTKR reported on the release of Melania Trump, the First Lady returned home to the White House this morning. She is resting comfortably and remains in high spirits, said Stephanie Grisham, the First Lady's communications director. Our office has received thousands of calls and emails wishing Mrs. Trump well, and we thank everyone who has taken the time to reach out. Trump has been recuperating at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center since she underwent a kidney embolization procedure on Monday. Grisham said Monday that the First Lady was expected to stay in the hospital for the duration of the week. Pressed for more information about the First Lady's condition and why she stayed in the hospital five nights after what was possibly a routine kidney procedure, Grisham pushed back on reports speculating about Trump's health. Every patient is different, she told CNN. The medical professionals who have been giving opinions to the media based on one statement are uninformed. Mrs. Trump has a medical team that is comfortable with her care, which is all that matters. Her recovery and privacy are paramount and I will have no further comment beyond this. Anyone else who chooses to speak with the media will only be speculating. He visited his wife multiple times following the procedure. She's doing great. Doing great, he told a reporter after delivering remarks at a prison reform event Friday at the White House. Melania was very thankful for the wonderful treatment and shared her gratitude on Twitter. Donald and Melania Trump continue showing their class by the way they're treating the general public. Inviting wounded veterans back to the White House for a friendly visit and publicly thanking the staff at a medical center for their loving treatment are two very basic ways that the Trump family shows the American people that they care and they're thankful. People who cared for Melania must have enjoyed the mention on her Twitter account. The crew who visited the White House to spend time with President Trump were probably very excited to be invited. In fact, they might have been so excited that they arrived much faster than Trump expected. This type of human interaction and consideration for other people is what helps remind people that Donald and Melania are just like everyone else and they appreciate kindness from medical staff and honor those who serve the country. Meanwhile, Barack Obama brought Al Sharpton to the White House around 80 times, and it's fact-checked by PolitiFact. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.